How's it going, guys? So, today is Monday, and uh, we're gonna bust down this with 80 grit. Or, sorry, 40 grit. I smoked my stir last night on this thing. You guys hear that poof 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 out here? That's because I got the uh, fresh air. I hooked up my... Uh, where is it? There it is. There's that black tube under the wall. Summertime, I run it like that, so it gets fresh air. It doesn't get the stuff from inside the garage. We'll let that air compressor die down. And that. I gotta go through this stuff on this trailer. I'm gonna put the Fairlane on this trailer. 
instead of having it, you know what I mean, I was going to uh, wheel her out, I was going to make a cart, and I was like, hmm, this trailer's no good for nothing else, you know, I'm not going to put it on the road or nothing for the hauler, so the uh, fairling will go on it, and then if I want, I can pull it in. But I'll see if you guys get a bit view of that tube here. Right there. You guys can see the black tube. And what I got it doing is taking air from outside instead of the dirty old dust stuff from inside. So you see how hard that is to uh, knock this fiberglass down. Um, that was a brand new uh, 40 grit, but um, oh, I put it outside, that's right. But that's why I, um, when I found that stuff in the store, oh, I figured where, I think it was Napa, I found that. And um, I tried it once, and as long as they keep making it, I'll keep buying it. There's another bulldog right down, right down there. His name's Dozer too. I think, I think they said he's like uh, four or five years old. Chubby little dog. My Dozer still got lots of growing to do. Still another year, he's a year plus now, like a year and a half, you know, and it takes usually about three years for a dog to, uh, you know, become a dog, <laughs> be folk. But yeah, so yeah, and here's the uh, Platinum Plus Filler 3M. Um, I bought four of those, like I said, for 125 bucks with the hardener. So I just took that from um, inside the house there. Actually, I should start bringing stuff out now, but it's all in my kitchen. Okay, guys, so I'll let you go for now. I'm going to finish knocking the stuff down, and then um, we'll mix some uh, bondo. And um, I'll probably use um, a plastic, um, plastic one. So, so you guys, so she is a bit jump. Good, good sense. Platinum, 3M Platinum Plus Filler Time. Now, it's not the warmest in here, the even is here. And I got a funny feeling the uh, bundle is not going to dry, but I'll get it on. I'll get it on, Milko. I got me a sticker. From Classic Cruiser. Number 22. Thank you, sir. Purple. Very cool. Thank you. And thanks for the note, too. So, um, I'll just put it up here. I'll probably forget about it, but I'll try not to. I know it's number 22. So I'm going to open up this uh, platinum and then I'll show you guys how I mix this stuff here. I like to use blue. And of course all my hardeners are in the house. So, should be enough hardener on this one. Same thing, take the air out, mush the snot out of it. Yeah, it's not that warm in here, man. And that's so here we go. So yeah, there's a um, right downtown here. Um, there's an old community building. It used to be a courthouse years ago too. And um, some guy bought it, and he's turning it into an apartment building. I almost think it's time to rent my house and uh, imagine the headache that's going to cause, but what can you do? Seen the real estate lady that sold us the house. She was 
found the mouse. I said, all right. Almost a full can. They never give, they call this a gallon, but you get like three quarters of it. So how much do I need? Not a whole lot. We're going to go with the squeegee dude. Actually, I got to break this guy down. And then I'm going to show you guys a routine how I clean uh, um, my stuff here. I'm just going to get this out. I'm going to go with this guy here because it's round. I want to slap it on nice, nice. As nice as I can. And that's all. So, I was right about the, uh, um, the fella with the um, WT something, one, two, three. So, I got your address, so we'll get that going. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow is Tuesday, so yeah, I'll have it in the mail tomorrow. And, um... That might have been one of those things that I thought I had the address written down at, like, Valentine Hammers or Valley's Hammer. Velvet ham Hammer? I think it's Velvet Hammer. We're going to go with Velvet Hammer. And, uh, and um, Finn Painter said that uh, it looks like that... Um, that fiberglass gives you, or that resin gives you more time. It does. It gives you a lot more time. And it's, um, it's easy to work with. But you know, not all garages have got one of these. They're pounding down your bundle. This is the good guy. I like this guy. That's a squeegee. But I use it for uh, putting um, my final lick of uh, body, whatever. On. Mm -hmm. So let's go over here. We'll make all pretty, pretty colors. Uh, I guess I should have put that light on it. Eh? And then uh, I don't know what to do next. Oh, got me a pot of coffee on. I know that. Okay, right, so I'm just gonna put this up here. It's pretty chilly, so I'm not gonna put a whole lot of because I want to have time to uh, to play with it so yeah she's a little thick everybody has different ways of mixing I like to go like this here and then just take a little bit of time and go and then flip it see and then it flips over by the time you get back over And then let's scrape it all around again. Take it to the middle, flip it, and clean that off. And go do it again. Yeah, I think I blew the start on that stupid lawn tractor in my damn thing fired up. Right away. And then, um, then that was it. I think I might put a little bit more hard on because it's not that warm, man. Oh shit, I thought I had you guys on it, man. Sorry. That's right, I gotta put a little bit more hard on anyways. <laughs> Silly rabbit. Twix are for kids. <laughs> okay, I do. I just grab a little bit of time and go and just. And then by the time you get over here, you know, you flip it over. Continue doing that. Flow it around like that. Get to the middle. And uh, repeat. A lot of times you go like that too. I think when I drywall my walls, I'm so used to using Bondo, I might use Bondo. <laughs> I never sanded um, drywall stuff before. I know they got some kind of fancy sandpaper with holes in it. That's all I know. I guess I'll have to watch some videos and help too. Okay.
Okay, guys, so we're gonna do over here first. The licky lick. I don't have to go extremely crazy because it is a back hole. You know what I mean? <clears throat> And of course the ideal is to get it as smooth as possible. It's much easier to work in. Right. Okay. Let's go over here. Hopefully it doesn't make too much here. Or too much hardening. Feels all right. Oh, I gotta get you guys where I am. Man. Oh. I don't have to go this far, but there's some dents. So, we're gonna go that far. <laughs> I don't have to go that far, but we're gonna go that far. Probably the last thing I do tonight. Too bad it's still early. I just put a pot of coffee on. I might clean. I got to uh, go to uh, the guy that's coming to do the appraisal on the car. Um, I seen his uh, Bel Air at his shop. He's got a body shop in town, and uh, I had the pleasure of going in there. Uh, he's got a nice setup. Really cool setup. Wibby wobby almost went down, hey okay, guys. Yeah, it's just we're loaded with dents, so I might as well just lick the whole damn thing. I think Eric's putting it up to sell anyway, so. steel bondo stick for this. I don't even know you got, get you guys in the video. Jeez. Such a bad camera guy, man. I'm just uh, smoothing it out a bit better here. I find after you, you lay it and then continue on, much easier to work with. ex-boyfriend's dad stopped by. I was shocked to see him stop by. I was working on this and shit, we haven't talked to each other since last year. I don't know why he stopped by. It was kind of weird. Whatever. He's a 
people to stop by to be nosy. I find that's what people do around here. They just stop in to see what's what. So let's clean this board. I'll show you guys how I uh, clean this board. And then I gotta make me some more. And uh and that so so we'll give it just a nice a clean a clean, eh? Where is it? Okay. Well first of all I just I scrape all the This is why I hate shelves and or um, countertops and everything because you know this is supposed to be my bondo mixing table slash mixing paint and it's everything else but that. So here you go. I got a gun washing um, squirt bottle. I got myself, well I'm going to get myself a new one. Scotch brake. Unfortunately, I don't have an old one laid around, so I squirt some on here. Should go over the face and just scrape. Much easier than grab a paper towel or a rag and give it a good wipe down. And that's how easy it is. Done. So let's give this guy a little, a little taste of some medicine. And this way you're not using a whole lot of gun wash and it does a really good job. Now that Bondo I just put on, I'm not going to put a machine to that, I'm going to strictly um, sand it, block it. There you go, paper towel and the garbage. So I'll have a sit down and smoke with you guys man, and uh, but yeah, there she is all laid down. And um, I still gotta put some more here and down here, but it's so hard to say, you know what I mean? If you over mix, under mix, it gets kind of expensive when you over mix and that, so. And then, uh, yeah, I don't think that's gonna do it. Time's it. 7.30 is almost coffee time, Monday, I don't know what's on, what's on, on Mondays, and yeah, so, but anyway, so yeah, I got to see the inside of, um, uh, Seabrook's Body Shop, he's got an older booth, um, he's got the, uh, you drive on, mount out, you know, for frame pulling and that, he's got that there, um, he's got a pretty good setup there. And uh, um, I think he got, I don't know, maybe one, one, one guy working for him, not sure. And that, uh, but uh, he's got a few nice cars. And that. Uh, but okay, guys, so this will probably be the last bid for the night. Um, if not, if that stuff kicks before the night's up, I'll start blocking up. I'll be hit it with either 80 or 120. Probably 80 grit, and then I'll put a lick of, um, or maybe I'll just use some resin and and in um, that platinum plus bondo, and um, go from there. But there you go. That's how I spread my. Uh, that's how I. Uh, that's how I mix my bondo, and uh, that's how I clean my boards and that. So if you guys have like Scotch Brite or Scotch Brite, you know what I mean, old ones, don't throw them away. Keep them. Can use them for stuff like that. Unfortunately, I don't have one, so that's why I had to use a new one and my only one. So I'll have to get some more of those. Okay, guys, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Ciao. Okay, guys, I didn't get much further because I went and grabbed the coffee and I brought Dozer to, uh, but she's all kicked. 
So I'll block, I'll knock it down with 80 real quick. It's pretty smooth, you know what I mean? I could have made it smoother than that, but and uh we'll sand all that down and good to go. But no, I had to, I was had those outside there and the landlord of that house uh called me over and uh, gave me the keys for the place. So I was over there with the landlord and um and um you stay out here. And uh so I got to see the place before the girls did. They, nobody's seen the inside of this house. So uh so they can move anytime they anytime they want. So that's good. But so I'll let you guys go and uh I'll see you guys tomorrow. And um I'll do some more bondo mixing, mix all this before I turn the camera on and do what we'll do a blocking. Instead of using the machine, we'll just strictly block. It um it takes a little longer, but you're not chewing off as much because you can over you can overtake Bondo off with a machine. Like, you know, you can kind of create yourself a problem. So, um, it's just as easy to go with 80 grit and crisscross and and that. I'll go with a hard block and then after I get it nice and shaped, I'll go with a soft block. And because it's all round and that. But, okay, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. And, uh, see you guys on the next one. And, uh, I'll have some mail tomorrow for that fella. W B T or some one two three. I will mail it out tomorrow. I'll show it tomorrow. And um and that. Okay guys. Ciao.